what I'm going to do is uh, I have a need to make three JST connectors or three three wire JST connectors because I have two of these Max Botix uh, sonar sensors and I have one DMX connector and they all need uh, three pin JST connectors I have. Um, as I've shown, or you may, may or may not know, I have these um, DMX, Arduino to DMX, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus, maybe not. So anyways, Arduino to DMX, so there's a Arduino Mini that goes here. Okay, and that takes serial signals, or that sends serial signals to the DMX controller through this chip. And I have this, which will be the connection to the sonar sensors, the Max Botix sonar sensors. Bong. So I need three because of the two sensors. I'm making two kits. So I figure might as well make three sets right now. I'm not really sure how long to make these things, but you know, uh, there's no really no hard and fast rule at this moment for me. So I'm going to make them all around the same length. I'll probably make the DMX uh, connection a bit longer. So for my benefit, I'm going to make them all with the same colors. So black for ground, 5 volt will be red, and green will be the data. Uh, for the DMX, it will be black for ground, green one line of data, and yellow for the other line of data. And I'm using 24 gauge wire. thread. Uh, Stranded, stranded wire. So let's cut off our wire for the sensors. Let's start with that. So like I said, three different colors. I'm pretty sure the controller and the sensor will be pretty close together. So I'm just gonna make, mm, this is about 10 inches. I'll do a 10 inch. Connection and then since I need two, I might as well get another one. When you're making kits, it's important to be consistent with whatever you're using. So, in the case of these, you know, JST connections, I want to make sure that I'm consistent in lengths so if I were to hand one of these sets off I know exactly what I've given the person so I have these nice auto strippers I don't know if you're familiar with auto strippers but if you've ever had to strip a bunch of wires auto strippers are kind of the best okay and we'll just get to the other end Now these aren't all even, but that's okay. Even them all out here. All right, and then just give them a little bit of, and there we go. Okay, whoops. Let it focus. So, what I tend to do, I'm going to do these first. So, as you can see, I already have my the connectors that go into the plastic connections. And what I do, whether or not this is 
the most advisable thing. I don't have the appropriate crimper, but even if I did, I don't really trust being able to plug in and unplug these connections. So what I tend to do is solder my wires in and then and then crimp them over. So I and if anybody has an argument here for why I shouldn't do this, that's fine. I'm I'm willing to listen, but based off of I had to make like a hundred of these one time, and every time one failed because the crimper didn't do what it was supposed to do, it was heartbreaking. And then I'd have to hunt it down and fix it. So what I generally do is I add a little tiny amount of solder to the connector first. It's a little dab, so the, um, oops, so the wire has something to stick to. And I need to do nine. I'm only going to solder the six for the two sensors, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. I'm using a Hacko, I can't remember the number right now, but it's the one that you, you see everywhere. <laughs> At some point I'll remember. Anyways, and then what I do is I take my wire, I lay it in place, and I just push it in to the solder. And you can see it melt together. And again, if you don't agree with this, that's that's fine. Um, I'm not an electrical engineer, so whatever, but I find this gives me my most consistent connection. And then I don't ever need to worry about these snapping off. Also, I guess the gauge would matter, but in this case, I'm not too, too concerned about any lesser gauge. Oh, that's messy, sorry. There we go. And then, Well, I'm putting them down in exactly the same direction, so they all have the same curl, which is, of course, towards my next connection. But, I mean, as you can see, this is a pretty quick method. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to, oh, see, did I miscount? Okay. I think I did miscount. I think I need one more here. Okay. So I'm just going to cut the yellow, green, and black for my DMX connector right now. And I'm actually making this longer because, well, you know, who knows how far away the first fixture is going to be from my controller. So I'm just going to give it a, a good healthy length. Worst comes to worst, I snip and have to re and just add in a, an extension. I'm going to give it, you know, maybe two feet. And. Auto strippers. Boop. We'll go auto strippers the other way because we're going to have to connect it to the wires that are here on the DMX connection. Okay. And 
And once you start getting a ton of these wires, sometimes it makes a lot of sense to just tape down the ones you've already worked on because why let them curl up into your hands? Right? Right. All right. So I'm just organizing the wires so I can quickly get them in here. Woo. Okay. All right. So I think just to be sort of consistent in terms of like how I put this in place, I'll start with the yellow because it would be the red otherwise. Okay, and then the green. And then the black. And that's it. And then, I can come along and I don't have to worry about these wires snapping out of the crimped connections which has happened which is crummy because it means you have to like waste a connector you just bend it bend it off of the sorry I'll, I'll have to do that again I think and then I just crimp fold over one side fold over the other side Tighten it all up, and that is that. And then it fits nicely. Oops, sorry, that actually didn't fit nicely. So you want to make sure it can fit. Yeah, you want to make sure it can fit. inside the connector like that, right? Um, in, the, in this case, you know, I already knew, I already decided how I was gonna lay these in, so in fact, the, the uh, five volt is gonna go on the opposite. So I'm just gonna push down the pinch, or sorry, push down the little metal flange that sticks up to hold this in. There's a little metal flange. It's impossible, I think. A little metal flange right here. And based off of my intention for the connectors, I'll take a green now, which is the data, and get it all pinched in. is going the far pin again let's just make sure it's all pinched correctly click click and then we grab our ground pinch fold Fold. And then insert. Okay. And then I can insert and test. Looks good. Pull it off. And that's it. I'll do the rest. And uh, We'll see where we're at after that.